Hello friends, cracking the competitive exams, that is the quantitative aptitude exams, requires smartness. Even if you know the traditional mathematics, you might not be successful in cracking those exams in which you have to solve like 150 questions in two hours time. So you need to skip steps and you need to be aware of the shortest possible method to crack those questions. The intention of Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts is to provide you such competencies, such skills, tips and tricks through which you can actually solve all those problems within so much of limited time which is given in the competitive exams. In this video, I am going to take up 11 amazing facts, yes, 11 different amazing facts which you must know if you want to crack all those competitive exams. And if you are a school student, this is going to be very, very interesting for you. So watch the complete video to learn something very useful. And you know, you will be one among those 1% students who know these 11 amazing mathematics facts. If you have not clicked the subscribe button till now, please do it right now and click the bell shaped icon also so that you can keep on getting all the notifications of these useful uploads on this amazing channel. So let's get started and have the first amazing fact. The first amazing fact relates to, I think this is the most common one and most of us already know this. This is when you have to add or sum up the first n natural numbers. First n natural numbers. Like suppose somebody asks you what is the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to say 400. Oh my god, you can't keep on adding them, right? So, this number is n, right? Up to n. Just use the direct formula n multiplied by its successor that is n plus 1 and divide the result by 2. So, what will be the answer here? n is 400, so multiply that by 401 and divide the result by 2. So 2 cancels this 200 times and your answer for the question will be double of 401 which is 802 followed by two zeros. Now no need to add the natural numbers, you get the answer directly. Now this is one of the simplest things, right? The second onwards, the second fact onwards, you will realize there are so many different things to learn. Now let's expand this and do the second one. Now I want to take only the sum of first n, first n, not natural numbers but selected band of natural numbers which are even numbers. Now when you have to take only the even numbers, there is a slight change in the formula. This upon 2 vanishes and you have to do only n times n plus 1. Now suppose for the same question, I need to do the sum of first 400 even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8 up to 400 such even numbers, first 400 such even numbers, then I will put 400 here, 400 times 401, that will give me my answer. And likewise, the third one, let's complete this part, the sum of first n odd natural numbers. So we have a formula for everything and odd numbers is even more simpler than even numbers. If you are selecting n odd numbers, just do n square. Pretty easy, right? Let's take an example of this one. So suppose I need to do 1 plus 3 plus 5 all odd numbers. Up to how many such odd numbers? Maybe sir, let's take 21 numbers. 21 such numbers, okay? Starting from 1, we are taking odd numbers and how many numbers? 21 numbers. So the sum will be 21 square which is 441. You don't have to do any calculation, just do 1 square and you get your answer. So three basic tricks which will help you in cracking so many different types of questions in the quant exams. Let's move on to the next type. The fourth amazing series concept is based on sum of, now again we are adding something, sum of, this time I am taking the squares, squares of first n natural numbers. Now the same thing, but this time I want to add the 
squares. So what is the example? Like I have to do 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to 10 square. Okay. Now I want to find the result. So if this number is n, that is 10 in this case, I just have to do n, its consecutive number n plus 1 and then twice of n plus 1 and divide the result by 6, I will get my sum directly. I don't have to find the squares of the individual numbers, I just have to put the value of n. So what happens here, n is 10, so 10, 10 plus 1, 11 and double of 10 is 20 plus 1, 21 and divide the result by 6. So 3 2s are 6 and 3 7s are 21, 2 cancels this 5 times and so what is this, 55 into 7 and that is 350 plus 35, 385 is the sum of squares of first 10 natural numbers. Isn't that amazing? One formula and you get the squares, the sum of squares of any number of natural numbers. Now expand this to the fifth amazing fact. Now I want to take the sum of squares of first n. Now I will split it. Now I want to take only the odd natural numbers. Now this is important. Now up to fourth, I think many of us know the trick. But after fourth, they are rare. Sum of squares of first n odd natural numbers. Now when we have to take the odd natural numbers, you have to do n times 4n square minus 1 and divide the result by 3. So you can check, you can take like uh, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square only up to say 3 square. Okay, but that will go in the first, uh, the fourth trick. For the fifth trick you have to do 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square plus 7 square. So you can take first 4 uh, odd natural numbers and we are trying to add the squares. Just put n equal to 4 you will get your answer. I leave the try part for you, okay, so that we don't unnecessarily, uh, you know, elongate the video, okay. Let's have the sixth fact. Now the same thing with sum of squares of first n even natural numbers. So very interesting, even natural numbers are, have a different formula than odd natural numbers. In this case, you have to write the same thing, all the factors here. They remain the same, n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. Just have to multiply this by 2 and divide the result by 3. You get the sum of squares of first n even natural numbers. So I can take an example. Let's take 2 square plus 4 square plus 6 square. Okay, I want to take only 3. I want to find the squares using this formula. So twice of n. What is n? 1, 2, 3. So 3 times 3 plus 1 4 times 3 times 2 is 6 6 plus 1 7 and divide the result by 3 so 3 cancels out and you have 7 4s are 28 2s are 56 as the answer can we verify this is 4 this is 16 and this is 36 and just add these three you will be surprised your answer is 56 likewise you have a trick for everything you know quantitative aptitude is all about smartness and knowing these things if you don't know these things you will be you know following those long traditional methods which will consume and uh, you know eat up so much of time that you will be uh, you'll not be able to complete the paper within time okay let's see the next one the seventh one for the video so now i want to enter into cubes now if i have to do sum of cubes of first n natural numbers. Again the same thing, but this time I am taking the cubes. So just like 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus up to say I have to do 10 cube. Okay. Very big if you want to calculate because most of the, uh, most of the students you know they don't know uh, the cubes up to say 20 also. If I ask you what is the cube of 14, you are going to fumble. Cube of 17, cube of 18, very difficult. Okay. So just use n into n plus 1 by 2, that is the sum of the first n natural numbers formula, and take the square of this, you will get the sum of cubes of first n natural numbers. Okay. So what will be the answer here? So here n is 10, so 10 into 11 by 2 
whole square that will give me uh, 55 square and if my answer will be 5 6 are 30 so 3 0 2 5 will be my answer so if I add the cubes of first 10 natural numbers I will get 3 0 2 5 as the answer that's quick right okay two more tricks coming up here for this and then we have two more amazing tricks okay right so the eighth one now I want to find the sum of cubes of now obviously I have to split these natural numbers into even and odd sum of cubes of first n even natural numbers even natural numbers and the same thing for the ninth one I will have sum of cubes of first n odd natural numbers okay odd natural numbers now these two formulas you know I have written them together there is a reason for that because the formulas are little bit confusing because when you do both the formulas at the same time it will be little bit consuming time consuming okay n and n plus 1 just do the squares n square and n plus 1 whole square now I am telling you how to remember the formula okay and just do twice of this you will get the sum of cubes of first and even natural numbers so I, if I have to do 2 cube plus 4 cube plus 6 cube up to 10 cube okay so 5 natural 5 numbers I can put n equal to 5 here and I will get my answer directly okay like so you can uh, uh, do this okay I will leave, leave it to you as a DIY then sum of cubes of, of first and odd natural numbers is little confusing because it uh, interferes with this formula so you have to do n square in both of them and apart from that you have another term 2n square minus 1 in case of odd natural numbers whose cubes are to be added. So these are some of the basic things you know we should know if we want to find the cubes, sum of cubes of the natural numbers then even natural numbers and then the odd natural numbers. So these are 9 things and the 10th one and the 11th one you know they are the most amazing ones let's see the 10th one for this video now in the 10th one we have a divisibility rule suppose i have n cube minus n like uh, say 18 cube minus 18 or i have n raised to power 5 minus n or i may have n raised to power 11 minus n or for that matter n raised to power 13 minus n now these four rules are very very important for competitive exam because you get so many questions based on these. Now these, these expressions which I have written have a unique power. Here we have cube, here we have power 5, power 11, power 13. Actually when you take n cube minus n it is always divisible by 3. Now you can check if I do 2 cube minus 2. 2 cube is 8, 8 minus 2 is 6. Yes, it is divisible by 3. Every time n cube minus n will be a multiple of 3 or it will be divisible by 3. Likewise, we have a power 5 here, right? So, this will always be divisible by 5. This will always be divisible by, the power is 11, so divisible by 11. And here the power is 13, so it will always be divisible by 13. Now, a very very important concept in quant and you know you get so many multiple choice questions they will give you an expression like this and ask you uh, by which number is this divisible so you will be you can't calculate 2 raised to power 11 even that is also difficult in a quant exam it will take so much of time and what if you get uh, a number like uh, the 17 here 17 raised to power 11 minus 17 oh, very difficult to find and it will be divisible by 11. So the powers 3, 5, 11, 13, they are special powers uh, if you want to remember these rules, okay. And the final one, 11. Now suppose there are two numbers whose ratio is known, okay. I will take an example also, very important. So suppose the two numbers, the ratio is A ratio B, okay. And the LCM of these numbers A and B is say X. Okay, I can actually find the HCF of A and B. How? Just take X, the LCM and divide it by the product of the two terms of the ratio A and B. You will get the HCF. 
very important concept for uh, quantum exam. Okay. Now let's take an example. Uh, suppose we have the numbers twenty eight and forty two. Okay. Now, what is the ratio of twenty eight and forty two? The question will be given in this form. The ratio of two numbers is fourteen two fourteen three. So two ratio three, right? And the this is given to us the ratio of the numbers, and we are given that the LCM of the numbers is um, eighty four. LCM is eighty four. Now using these two, we have to find the HCF of the numbers. So what will be my answer? Just take the LCM and divide it by the product of these two, two into three. So six, right? And six cancels is four, uh, fourteen times. Yeah. So the HCF of the required numbers is fourteen. So you don't have to find the numbers. I took this as an example and I framed the question and I got my answer. HCF is fourteen. You can check fourteen twos are twenty eight, fourteen threes are forty two. So HCF is indeed fourteen, right? So eleven important concepts which well, you know help you in cracking all the quant exams and uh, you know short tricks are huge in numbers. So practice is what is required. So if you want a complete collection of short tricks, you can send me a message on WhatsApp. I think you can see here the WhatsApp number nine eight nine six three six double nine six three. Whether you are a school student or a college student or anybody aspiring to clear the school Olympiads. Or you want to be among top one percent people who can calculate ten times faster, or you are preparing for any quantitative aptitude exams, SSC, CGL, railways, banking, LIC. You know there are a huge number of exams, CAT also, right? So you will become smart if you study from the complete ebook of short tricks, which carries a very very nominal cost. So friends, study these eleven concepts, apply them to different problems, and I'm sure you are going to be really smart. and uh, you know crack all those competitive exams in future all the best